of works to better myself and my understanding of everything around me. It was only recently the others caught me using the terminal and destroyed it to torment me! <laughs> I don't remember enough to tell you everything about my former self. My metamorphosis destroyed a good deal of my long-term memory. However, I can recall being in this place when it wasn't the macabre laboratory it has become. I remember walking around this place and seeing other humans in white lab coats and blue jumpsuits. Oh. I wish I could find out more, but the personnel information for the vault wasn't in the mainframe for some reason. I feel like my identity is so close to me. Ah, I can almost see myself as a human, but can't recollect the details. Oh, oh it's maddening. These, these always are familiar to me. I... I think I used to be a resident here, in better times. I wish I could remember more, but... I'm afraid it's all a blur. As for the deck, it's always rested where it does now. The foolish super mutants don't even know what they have. It was taken from a historical entry in the computer. Mm. The name comes from a man who was willing to fight and die for what he believed in. I felt it was appropriate, given my circumstances. Very well. What else can I tell you about myself? Yes, by all means, let's.
Okay, you stay here. Beyond this door, the hallways and chambers are flooded with radiation. I'll get the case and bring it right back. Keep your eyes open, and then my lesser-minded brethren are bound to stumble across us. As promised, yeah, here's the deck. I hope it's worth it. Uh, I'm afraid this is where you and I part company. I'll find my way out of this place. Don't worry. Maybe we'll meet again somewhere in the, the wasteland.
Objective is secured, sir. Good work, soldier. Make sure the Gek is secured aboard my Vertibird. Yes, sir. I'll have the text come down and remove it immediately, sir. You're certain he's unharmed? Yes, sir. He'll pass out shortly, but we can revive him. Excellent. Prepare him for transport immediately. Right away, sir. So, oh, you're awake. Let's keep this nice and simple. You're going to tell me the code for that purifier, and you're going to tell me now. I'll tell you what's going on here. You lost. The good guys won this one, and now we're just wrapping up loose ends. We've got the purifier, now we just need the code to start it. You're going to give me that code now, and save us all a lot of trouble. Maybe I'll even let you go. So how about it? I'll be honest. I'm running out of patience here, and I'm not looking to play games with you. You tell me that code, or it's going to cost you. Why do you insist on provoking me? Tell me the code now. Mr. President, I have no time for other matters. I'll be with you shortly. Now, Colonel. Yes, sir. Ah, alone at last. I do apologize for Colonel Autumn. He's been under a great deal of stress lately. I've no doubt that you know who I am. I'm sure you've heard my radio broadcasts. I'd like to have a word with you face to face. I think there are a few things that you and I should discuss. You'll find your possessions in the locker near the door. I'll unlock the way for you. And I'll unlock your restraints as well. I'll be waiting for you in my office. Please don't carry me. Right there. You're supposed to be in that holding cell. You're not going anywhere. There's a full complement of guards in the next room. As soon as I get them, you're going back to your cell. In a body bag, if necessary. On whose authority? I have no records of that. You're supposed to be in a holding cell. What? No one sees the President except Colonel Autumn. Stand right there while I check this out. Attention uh, to all the radio. Uh, uh, this is your president. I have an unauthorized individual. I've invited our guest from Vault 101 to my office. I'm surprised. Please do not impede his progress. Thank you for your cooperation. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I uh, just. Uh, 